The world around us is incredible and there is so much just waiting to be discovered. Consider something as simple as a candle. A wick by itself will burn out quite quickly, but if we surround it with wax, now we have a device that will keep a flame burning for hours. What just happened? Did Science Mom eat a candle or did she not? If you are watching this with somebody, I want you to pause the video and have a short discussion. Talk about what you think happened and why. What did you observe? What evidence do you have to support your opinion? And then once you've had a minute to discuss it, I want you to break down what you observed and what you inferred. An observation is something you see directly with your senses. It's information that you gather. So you observed that there was a white cylindrical object that I had in my hand and that I used a lighter to light. You inferred that this white cylindrical object was made out of wax. You saw that the center part burned and you inferred that that was the wick of a candle. But it turns out that it was not a candle. This is a piece of jicama. A jicama is a root vegetable that grows underground and just like a potato plant will store starch and energy in the tuber of the potato, the jicama plant does the same thing. And it tastes a little bit like... Weird and scratchy. Surprisingly sweet. Raw potato um, crossed with a pear. Watermelon mixed with the potato. Adult. Like a grape or something. A piece of celery. Cantaloupe. Carrot mixed with cabbage. When most people think about science, they think about running an experiment, gathering data, and that's an important part of science, but science goes so much deeper. At its heart, science is about how we interpret the world around us, how we discover new knowledge, and how we learn more about this incredible universe that we live in. In this series of videos, we're going to teach you how to design an awesome science project, but we're going to go even deeper than that. You are going to learn how to think like a scientist. Science mom, how many candles did you eat today? Lots. Probably seven. 